And we are live. Do you not want to be shown on camera, Dia? No. Okay. I'll just cl click on me then. And wait for a couple people to come in. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm done sounding like a rabbit now. <clears throat> Why? I was eating a salad. I oh, okay. sound like a rabbit. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's auction night. This is Hit Flippin' Mama, a.k.a. Kelly, a.k.a. Mama. Every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, I will be bringing you beautiful jewelry, beautiful attitudes, and beautiful people in the chat. And the most beautiful of all is my assistant this evening, the, the beautiful, the funny, the gorgeous, the knowledgeable, Dia, immortal hourglass. Hello, hey, Dia. Everyone. How is everyone tonight? <clears throat> Thank you so much for helping, Dia. I appreciate you so much. And thanks for thanks for being here. First, you guys. Um, after you go to Immortal Hourglass and subscribe to her and come on back. Did you type in the chat? Yeah, I typed in Hubs is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, subscribe to Dia. She really knows her stuff. She is very, very knowledgeable, and I am fortunate enough to call her my friend. She is going to be helping out on Tuesdays calling my auctions and I appreciate her very much but she won't show her face no matter how gorgeous she is it's your but, auction well that's okay but you're the beauty so you're the beauty let's take a look at the chat really quick you guys I want to apologize first for being 12 minutes late or 10 minutes late um I had to shut down my computer several times. I thought I had a bad mouse. It turns out it's not the mouse. I think I just need to update my... I thought I had a bad mouse. Oops, hold on. I have to mute this. Echo. Okay. Let's... No, I muted it. I muted... Uh, I opened it up so I could see the chat. Okay. Hello, Alice. Hello, Fairy Vixen. Hello, Jennifer Layton. Hubs. It's my husband. That's your <laughs> husband. Well, hello, Hubs. What's his first name? Mike. Mike. Hi, Mike. Great. Thank you, Mike. People may have come in and then jumped out because I wasn't here. So let's give a couple of minutes for people to filter in and get their notification. I, for whatever reason, when I tried to start my computer, I would get everything fine. It would, it would all come up and I would go to the YouTube page and my mouse would be possessed. Last night it was Facebook's page. Um, tonight it's, YouTube. So I don't know if I just need to down, uh, you know, upgrade my Kaspersky plug for Kaspersky um, virus protector or what. I don't know, but I bought a new keyboard and a new mouse. It still did it. So I apologize for the delay, you guys. But what <clears throat> we're going to do tonight, we're going to move really fast. Dia, you're going to help me move really fast, right? Yes, ma'am. You got me for two hours, Miss Kelly. Yes, I don't even want to go two hours. Um, once we we let a few people come in, then we are going to start, and they will be two, three minutes auctions. They will be really quick, and we'll be moving on to the next piece. And if you have any questions, you can put it in the chat, and Dia or myself will 
be happy to answer. Let me just check something really, really quick. Hey, Anita. Anita Fanita. <laughs> My husband says your mouse knew Dia was coming to help you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, isn't that the truth? I had to buy a new mouse for my laptop because the touchpad just decided to give up the ghost. Don't know what's going oh. on with that. But... Nice. Very, very nice. Well, yeah, it was an important fun. spreadsheet I was doing. And my mouse decided to stop in the middle of it. I'm glad it auto zooms. <clears throat> well, what mine was doing was it would creep on its own around the screen and then it would click on things and open files and you know i don't oh. know why oh. doing this yeah and it, when the first time it happened i was live and so i thought okay um it's just a glitch you know and then i couldn't get it to I couldn't get it to stop. And then I thought, okay, do I have a spirit? <laughs> do I have a spirit with me tonight? And Did you set um, anything on it? What's that? Did you set anything on the mouse? Like, no. anything heavy? No, hmm. no. Um, <clears throat> but you know what? I mean, my computer is like seven or eight years old. And this is... It's not an HP mouse, it's a Logitech mouse, so I don't know how long I've had this mouse, but I'm really rough on everything. We've got some people coming in now. Um, I'm really rough on it, everything. Hi, Thelma! And so I bang it around, so I thought it was the mouse. Well, I bought a new mouse today, and it wasn't the mouse because it was acting possessed still. So, And it was in Google Chrome, which I need to have to do the Google Hangouts. So, okay, guys. We've got a few people in here now. <clears throat> How this is going to work. Anyone and everyone can bid. Hi, Maggie. Um, everyone's welcome to bid. You don't have to be pre-registered. I just need your name, your YouTube name, and the email address you would like your invoice sent to. Um, and you can email that to hipflippinmama at yahoo.com. And I put that down below in the description. And then we are all set. I will email you the invoice either this evening, most likely tomorrow morning, and then you can pay within the next few days. Hi, Dab Kitty Sparkles. Um, yes, I do know how to void it. And after the auction, Dab Kitty, I'll get in touch with you and I'll show you how to do that, okay? But we are gonna go ahead and get started. So everyone is welcome to bid. Just make sure you email me. All right. <clears throat> so I have got a lot of new to you items this evening. And true to form, I've got some lesser cost items that I'm going to start out with as per your request. Yep, I'll help you with that after the auction, my lovely. And thank you all for joining. Thank you so much. There's so many things you could be doing this evening, but you chose to spend it with Dia and I. And I appreciate that. And Dia, thank you again for helping me out. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. Oh, I love you so. Okay. We're going to do some earrings. How about that? But before we do the earrings, we're going to have fun. I have been so excited for this, you guys. I've been excited all day. <laughs> you can go ahead and laugh at me. This is jewelry, baby. This is jewelry. I get to sit and I get to play with jewelry. Yes. That was one of those weird yeses. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Our first... Up for auction is two pairs of earrings. 
and I'm not going to use a display because these are hinged back. And these are hinged back. Well, sort of. So we've got two gold tone pairs of hoops. We're going to start both of these at $4. Opening bid $4. We're going to go fast. I'm going to explain everything to you the first minute, give you a couple minutes to bid, and then we're moving on. So if you're thinking about it, yes, I am on a coffee high. <laughs> now, but this is just mama. She's, she's yeah. hyper always. <laughs> this is just me. So um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, hubs. If I'm too much for you, if I give you a migraine, I'm sorry. But we have got two very nice pairs of gold tone earrings. These are a little bit more copper. I'm going to hold still. And these are more gold tone. And I'll show you the backs here in just a minute. But we're just going to start this at four. There we, we go. We have some beautiful earrings. Anybody in for four dollars? And the I back like the copper the ones. Gold tone. It's pretty cool. They just snap like this. Ooh. It's <laughs> simple. What's so funny? My husband said, Oh no, you haven't met my wife, Dia. We have Jennifer Layden in at $4. Does anybody want to go five? You get two for the Jennifer. price of one. And everybody's adoring your rings, just to let you know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This isn't my original wedding set. This is a pretend wedding set. No, this is not real. But I pretend like it is. Um, but it is. It's a pretend because my real wedding set needs every stone in it retipped. So thank you. I appreciate that. It's a very nice pretend, but it's a pretend. Um, and this is what the hinge on the copper gold tone. This is this is a hinge back, right? And it just snaps in. But this is really pretty because it is a more gold tone in copper. I like the color. details on it, the balls, the detailed yeah. balls. I like the studs on it. If only I could wear them. I'm going to go once to Jennifer. Yes, let's move quickly. I think, do we have more than one Jennifer? No, okay. I'm going to go once to Jennifer. we got two sets of earrings, a copper color and a gold tone. Very beautiful indeed. Does anybody want to go five for this? Pair, two pairs. I'm going to say set again. They're not a set. Two pairs of earrings. Anybody want to go $5? We're going to go once to um, twice to Jennifer. Yeah, see, look, I haven't had my coffee yet. Lord, I, I had coffee earlier. <laughs> Your camera's doing an excellent job focusing tonight. Thank you. I moved my shutters right up behind my chair. Oh, we do have two Jennifers. So we are going three times to Miss Jennifer Layden. Oh, yes, and Jennifer Hayes. I apologize. I forgot. And sold. And then we got like four four Barbaras or five Barbaras. In here right now? Something like that. No, normally, like, right. I, I confuse them all. Okay, so we have got sold for $4 to Jennifer Layton. Layton. Congratulations, Jennifer Layton. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be moving super fast today because... I'm in, I've got a significant amount of pain in this upper um, shoulder muscle that's still in regards to Thursday's auction. Oh. <clears throat> so. Well, hopefully they'll go away when you take oh, a yeah. shower. Oh, yes, baby. All right, Jennifer Layton, thank you so much. You know those hot hands that you use like when it's cold outside? Yeah. Yes, I do. I put one of put one of them like in a like a baby's washcloth and stick it on my back, like under my bra strap. Works really well. That's a really good idea, Dia. It produces more heat than any of that cream stuff I've ever found. Oh, or yeah, even a heating yeah, pad. Yeah. Those things heat up fast too. <clears throat> All right. 
Thank you, Jennifer. And again, thank you to everybody that's here. Thank you for loving Mama. And thank you for loving Dia. I know you guys you don't forget to share it out too. So if you know anybody interested in the auction, share it out to your social medias and get Miss Kelly here some exposure. She well deserves it. Oh, thank you. Okay. Next, sorry. Your husband's probably laughing. Oh no, I'm I'm a I'm a complete goof at home. He's perfectly fine. These next pair of earrings, you guys, are just a classic post, but they're so pretty. So, so pretty. And I meant to test them for 14 karat. Mm. And I forgot it. I've had these for quite a while. And it's one of those things where I can't wear it, so it sits in my jewelry box. In my jewelry box, in my jewelry box. I've got a four foot tall jewelry box. And so it's easy to forget things. But these are gold tone studs with gold tone dangles with some thick filigree. And we're going to start these at four. Those are really pretty. They are, and they, they curve just a little bit, and I'll show you that. See how they're curved mm -hmm. in the back? They're pretty. Let me focus them. There we go. They're very pretty. They're in great condition. They're very light. So if you don't like heavy things on your ears... This is perfect for you because you don't even feel that you have them in. But they're really, really pretty. Does anybody want to go for for the nice dangle earrings? Studded backs, gold tone, filigree design, concave slightly. Gives this it is a nice Dia. dimensional look. This is why Dia is so awesome. Anybody want to go four dollars? That's a still, folks. We all know it. She said she meant to test him with 14 karat ass test, never got around to it. We've all been there and done that. Yep, unfortunately. Does anybody want to go four dollars? If there's no love, we'll just move along. We will move on. That actually doesn't break my heart because I, I think someday I'll be able to wear. Pierced earrings again. You can't wear pierced earrings. No, I can't unless they're gold. And I mean, I these never bothered me, which is kind of why I should have tested them. Um, because my husband did used to he used to buy me um, gold jewelry and diamonds, but I am so rough on things that and I lose things. So he learned really quick just not to even not to even worry about it but these are so beautiful so oh yes fairy make sure you wear but, gloves when you acid test if not you're staying yeah, yellow for life yes, almost maybe <laughs> i um for those of you who don't know i still have thumb issues um <laughs> is that from the acid incident yes. yeah when i started acid testing um, I knew you were supposed to wear gloves, but the directions didn't say you had to. And, you know, I was so excited. I was just testing everything and everything. And um, I knew my, my skin was, was getting really bad. And it just started peeling one day. Just started peeling. I went to go get my nails done and mine were stained yellow. You should have seen the look on the guy's face when he asked me what happened. I said, oh, it was just some acid. That was a poor choice of words oh, in that moment. Acid. I'll tell you what. I know we're not going to chit chat tonight, but I'm just going to say this. Talking about drugs. You all know I'm a huge boxing fan. And someone's going to be tapping her fingernails. Kelly, Kelly Joe, you're not supposed to be chatting. But you all know I liked Mike Tyson. He's my favorite boxer. Well, I was watching him live last night and he was smoking. Um, he was smoking a um, 
what do you call it, a joint while he was doing a live, and I was just so disappointed in him. So, public service announcement. All right, guys. We Hold up. I got a public service announcement because Vanessa just said that you're a tad bit early. Make sure you all have set y'all's clocks an hour ahead for Spring Forward. Yes. It is right now 7.32 Eastern Time um, in Michigan. And again, I apologize for running late. I had technical difficulties with my mouse. My mouse was possessed. So, and I have my daylight bulbs in my shop light above my desk. So I'm hoping that my light is just wonderful. And no, I'm not on a Mountain Dew High. Hello, Perry, and welcome. Hello, Land Shark Picker. Thelma, yes, I actually knew Muhammad Ali. Um, my son, I knew, I knew his wife Lonnie more. I knew his son Assad. They call him Sadi, the most because he played ball against my son Clay. And my second team, you know, I was my husband coached. And my second team was the Niles team, and that's the team that, that Saudi Ali played on. And so I got to know all the boys. I got to know him, got to know his mom. And then when his dad would come to the games, you know, I got to, um, you know, have lunch with the team and, and meet Muhammad a few times. And thank you, Alice. Alice says the lighting looks great. Hello, Esme. I actually have something specifically not for specifically you asked me but something you're gonna like all right guys we're gonna move on <clears throat> hold on just one moment i am going to show you where's the necklace that goes with this oh no Hold she on, said, Jeff. really? I'm intrigued. <laughs> What's that? She, as Mae said, really? I'm intrigued. Yes, you should be. You're going to like it. Well, I guess I'm not going to do this right now because you know what? Oh, Are you right. fashionably unorganized today? Yes, I am. <clears throat> I didn't put everything on the displays like I normally do. All right, so... You remember a couple auctions ago I had that Cloison Cloisonme Chloe Cloison Aid. Yay. Yes. Um bracelet. Well, I got these from Patsy Craftsy in one of her auctions. And the cord was just a little bit too short for me. And the bracelet goes with the necklace. So we are going to present this right now. And I'm going to put it on this for a moment. And I am going to start the necklace and the bracelet together for $4. That's going to be our starting bid, $4. And that is for the necklace and the bracelet. And these beads are gorgeous, you guys. Let's Ooh. wait for it to focus. It's got the royal blues and then the whites with the flowers and then the red in the inside and i'm peeking around <laughs> and now that you've seen the whole thing i'll show you up close ask me i'll get to you pretty quick or to everyone's but one i think that you will like just a um, lobster claw basic lobster claw there we go there's the other side and these beads, you guys, they're on a wire, of course, so you can bend it straight if you like, or you can curve it. I chose to curve it because, of course, it's around the wrist, and it just was more comfortable. But the beads are the same on the necklace as they are on the bracelet, and look how gorgeous these are, you guys. That stunning blue, almost purple. With the white flowers and the green leaves. Oh, they're nice size too. Yeah, they are. Yep. 
they are they're definitely noticeable a little bit of uh tealy turquoise colors in there is it cord cloth or rubber uh it's uh it's it's cloth cord it's not rubber do we have anybody in for four dollars we have a is, matching set everybody yes Classic clothes and a design. You got the beautiful flowers, gold detailing, silver balls in between on a wire that is adjustable. Do you have anybody in for four dollars? We can move on. Mm -hmm. Hi, Beth. Reverend Michelle Jones, I have for you. I did receive your message. I'm so sorry, Reverend Michelle. I got it late. But those bracelets from last week's auction, yes, they are yours. We have and Alice in for four and Esme in for five. Sorry for interrupting you, but I didn't want no, you to bag them up before you continued. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, I have those for you. And just to let you know, guys, if for some reason something does not sell in the auction, um, you can always come back to it or if you're watching the replay of the auction if something doesn't sell you are more than welcome to contact me and you know you may have it for the starting bid does anybody want to go six we got a matching set of closing aid on black cloth cord we have the classic closing aid the blue background Gold detailing with the white flowers, red center, green leaves, and it's on a wire, so you can bend it to fit around yep. your lovely little wrist. Does anybody want to go six? We're going to go once to Miss Thrifty Esme. Does anybody want to go six dollars? Let me show I love you. how it's on that wire. What's that? I love how it's on the wire. Oh, yeah. I love being able to bend it just to, because depending on how I was feeling that day or Miss Dumbo says there's an echo, by the way, I'm not on my side. I'm muted. Uh, I'm muted too. Is there still an echo, Thelma? Let's see. Is there a thumb an echo? Is there a Thelma echo? Is there an echo, Thelma? <laughs> Let's see if it was on my side. Maybe it was just for a split second. Does anybody want to go six? We're going to go twice to Miss Thrifty Esme. Does anybody want to go six dollars? You got a matching set of closing aid. 18 inch cord. She says it's her old ears, I guess. No, I actually think there was an echo for a few slight seconds there. I oh, there it is again. I hear it. Um, I don't hear it. The only thing I have the volume on is Hangouts. Yep, me too. Maybe I need to sit you over there. Maybe that will work. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Does anybody want to go $6? We got Thrifty SMA in for five. You got a matching closing aid bracelet and necklace set. They are on an adjustable wire, so you can bend them however you would like. In a curly cue, in a knot, in a pretzel, it's all up to you. We don't judge. We're going to go three times to Miss Thrifty Esme. Thank you, Esme. And we're going to get sold. You sold. are going to love them, my darling. We have 19 people in the chat. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up for before you enter, if not before you leave. It's kind of like ringing the doorbell. <laughs> That's cute. And this chair is creaky. Ooh. My chair is creaky, too. What did that go for? Remind me. It went for $5 to Miss Thrifty Esme. Thank you, Esme. Gorgeous, beautiful, almost as beautiful as you are, Esme. Christy says everyone needs cute jewelry. <clears throat> oh. 
I did receive your message very, very late just yesterday, <laughs> actually, about the replacement that I sent to you. And, and here's the, the thing, too, guys, um, with me. Esme had won a lot. And one of the brooches I noticed after the auction, um, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't an issue until I was packaging it up to to send to her. And the clasp was just a, moving just a little tiny bit. I was not comfortable with that. I did not want her to have issues with it a month or so down the line. And so I upgraded her to a nicer brooch, um, a higher quality brooch. Um, of course, at no charge or anything, uh, just so that she would have value or higher for that item. I'm not going to send you something that's subpar or that I think may have an, an issue. So I think, um, I thank you, Esme. I'm glad that you liked that <clears throat> and you were happy with the substitute. Okay. <clears throat> Next victim. I'm sorry, what? Next victim. Next victim. Let's Speaking keep of... Poisonae. This is not well. You tell me, Dia. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not an expert. I've got a bracelet, and it is very cloisonne looking. Yep, alpaca Mexico. Alpaca Mexico. You think Don't that's you? where it's from? Yes, that's where it's from. I have about uh, maybe um, sixty of them. This is not 925. No, ma'am. <laughs> they make those um, down there in Mexico for tours coming through. They're actually semi quite collectible. Um, they do nice in the summertime because of the bold colors. Um, this has a mark. Maybe somebody this, doesn't watch my videos. No, I don't watch every single one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on, let me look at this mark really quick so I can make She sure. says, I know it's a beautiful replacement. Wasn't expecting that, Miss Esme said. You are very welcome, my darling. Let me tell you what this says. Some are made, it says uh, made in Mexico. Some say alpaca Mexico. I have found yeah, a few that said 925, and there's some that also are. So you think it might now. be 925 then? I never tested it. The only ones I've ever found that have been sterling have been marked sterling. They're new, normally like a, a whole bunch of mixed metals. Not necessarily pot metal, but... Well, guys, I'm going to test it really quick. And do you know why? Because I can. Now I don't know where my sterling is. Okay, so here's the thing. If it is sterling, it's sterling. Because I don't know. Where am I? I just tested something before the auction. Oh, here it is. I'm going to tell you right now if it's sterling. Oh, let's test that one more time. That has got a beautiful red. And yes, I touched the dye, Dia. Ah, why? I know. Some people will test this where they look down through the, through it. And if you still see the lines, and then I know other people that will look for the red line. How do you do yours, Dia? I test it with 18 karat acid. Really? Yes. And what does that do? It turns it a milky blue color, almost okay. a moonstone. Okay, no, this is not this is not 925, but it does have Mexico on the back, so. 
I have a video explaining the scientific reasoning why a lot of jewelers uh, use 18 karat instead of um, uh, this regular sterling because, um, believe it or not, most men, well, not most men, a very good percentage are colorblind. Red. <laughs> and so. I think that to a certain extent, I may be as well. At least that's what my husband says. Okay, guys, back to... Christy, I can't wait for you to go live. Yes, Dia, yeah, I will watch your videos. I promise. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> we, uh, we start this at four. Uh, we'll start this at four dollars because I paid more for that. I paid more than that when I bought this before because it is a it is a hinged bracelet. And we all know that Mama cannot wear a regular bangle. I do believe they are all handcrafted. If I if, if I'm wrong, someone can correct me in the chat. We have Dorothy Christie in at four dollars for this beautiful made in Mexico alpaca bracelet. Um, what do you think that bottom part says? Um, it probably says I don't want to. I'm, I'm not Spanish, but it's like E L S. And how do they spell made in Mexico? Okay. Um, I have found several that have different other stamps on them, or that one could say alpaca. I can't, can't read my screen. It's a beautiful um, bracelet. Thelma says made in Mexico bracelet. And yes, Thelma, Thelma knows where. Yeah, hit, hit. I can't. I don't. I see. I'm not Spanish. I don't want to butcher that word. H e c h o e. It's e l h e c. Yeah, that word. Mexico, made in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna watch the snap so you guys see. We how have Thirsty Christie in at four dollars. Does anybody want to go into five? Can we see the beautiful inlay one more time? We got the yep. shell. Did you see it close? H is silent. Ek, echo, echo. Mm -mm. We ain't doing that. You're just trying to make me mess up all the games. Hey, we got anybody in for five for this beautiful bracelet. And we got the red, the shell. We got a flower. Very psychedelic almost on the sides. Got anybody in for five? It's got the turquoisey um, blue. And it's, it's got the, you know, the kind of the, the mother of pearl or abalone look to it. But it's just gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. Hello, Tanya. How are you tonight? Hello, Tanya. This is the same as English as in chair. Oh, good to know. We're going to go once and scroll back up to Thrifty Christie for $4. Does anybody want to go five? We got the Made in Mexico alpaca. Beautiful inlay of a white flower and the psychedelic looking shells on either side. Beautiful Watch for this. the springtime. It's right around the yes. corner. Beautiful, 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 in, in nice condition. Tanya, watch the replay. There was a corded um, cloisonne royal blue necklace and bracelet with four or five beads on them of the cloisonne. Gorgeous, that you might be interested in. Yep, and pretty for the summer, too. We have Anna Mora yep. in at $5. Does anybody want to go six? We're going to go once to Miss Anna Mora for the beautiful Made in Mexico bracelet. It's very beautiful. I love them. It I think they're gorgeous. all pretty. It is gorgeous. Here's the hinge. I, I especially love anything hinged because I can wear it. You know, as, as a big woman, it's very, very difficult to find anything that will fit me comfortably, and this does. And the good thing is, is they can be on the lookout if they have grandbabies or kiddos or nieces, because they actually make baby ones that's just like them. You could find ones that are almost identical too. Really? Go twice? Yes, ma'am. Or go Watch three this. times. Get Watch this, twice. Christy. This is a bracelet that you can put on all by yourself. And take oh, off needed. all by yourself. Going twice to Miss Animora. Does anybody want to go six? Look at that beautiful bracelet. Ooh, 
And Amora, this is going to look gorgeous on you. I love the bracelet that you um, were showcasing in your feed. Oh, that was gorgeous. Going three times to Miss Anamora for $5. Does anybody want to go six? Does anybody want to go six? Vanessa says she has a colorful collection of these and a baby one. Wink, wink. And yeah. we are sold. Sold to Miss Anamora Thank for $5. Anamora. I, I think, think every yeah. girl in my family has one from me. Oops. Oh, really? <laughs> I used to collect them. And then, like, I, you know, I got out of the habit. And then I found me a unicorn one. But I painted, I have, I had a collection of, like, ten by myself that I painted the inside with no polish so I could wear them. <laughs> yeah. So. And that's, that's the thing. Thank you, Anna Mora. Anna Mora. Thelma says she has matching earrings. <gasps> You do. You should see some of the necklaces they make. They're beautiful. What did that go for? Do you recall, Dia? Five dollars to Miss Anamore. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Anamore. I'm putting these in bags as I go. Because I have the bags now. All right, you guys. Are you ready for some 925? What? What? <coughs> <clears throat> Let me get some water. I talk too much. No. No, really. I know that's hard to believe, but I do. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That's so cute. All right, guys. We have a beautiful box. A beautiful blue toned box. And on this box, it says Mia Fiari. I think that's how you pronounce it. Made in Italy. Should we stare at this beautiful box for three minutes? Or shall I open it? Open. Open the box. <laughs> we have an 18-inch necklace. That is nine two five, and the pendant is nine two five. Now I will tell you this: it's a sixteen inch chain with a two inch extender. It is made in Italy, and I'm going to show you something. Because oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to start this at eight dollars. Yes, I know eight dollars. This is brand new. I purchased it brand new. However, it has sat in my jewelry box for a very long time. Now, do you see the back of this here? Where there is a plastic bag, right? For the chain. Yes. When I purchased this, and it sat in my jewelry box, in the box, when I finally got into silver and was wearing it, <clears throat> when I took the beautiful chain out, it was, tarnished. well, what was in the bag was not tarnished. However, what was out of the bag did have some tarnish on it. So I did clean this piece. I took it out of the box and I did clean it. So just so that you know, I have cleaned it, but it is still new. Mm. What did I say I was starting this at? $8. $8, thank you. We have Thelma in an eight. Anna wants to know if it's glass in the middle. I do believe it's a hollow teardrop. It is a hollow, hollow teardrop pendant. And it is indeed 925. Well, that's stunning. Now it does it it is faceted, you guys, and I'm I'm gonna try my best to show that to you. So it does pick up on the light. Can you see that now? Yeah, it it's is very textured pretty. and it's gorgeous. But I am full time and I must present myself as full time and not hold on to everything. 
Hold we on. have Miss River Michelle in for thirteen dollars. Does anybody want to go fourteen? We got there this you know. beautiful, elegant. Ow! I just stuck my toe on the table. New in the as box. You, as you say, beautiful and elegant. You stubbed your toe. Yeah, I have a crossbar underneath my my table. Whoever, I don't. Oh, why did it say whoever? This was a custom made table, and he put a bar on the top so I could rest my 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 feet on them instead of on the floor because I'm tall. Anybody want to go fourteen? It is brand new in the box. We got a nice elegant there design here. And just fast it to cast the light and make it shine. 18 inches. That's including the extender. Does anybody want to go $14 for this beautiful necklace? You can see the texture there. And yeah, my mood see. ring I bought today. <laughs> I would see the mood ring forever. I'm 5'11", Miss Tanya. We're going once to Miss Reverend Michelle for thirteen dollars. Is anybody going to go fourteen? It is brand new in the box. Yes, she did take it out. It cleaned it. It is. I cannot. I don't remember who made that. I'm sorry. I apologize. It is Mia Fiari, made in Italy. And there's the box, folks. It sat in my jewelry. It sat in. I have you know four foot tall jewelry case, and. It sat in there for, I don't know, probably five years. And um, it was one of those things my husband was like, babe, I want you to get it. Get it. And I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm into gold. But now, you know, it's, it's time to part with it. And it was tarnished, except for what was in the, the plastic in the back. So I did take it out to clean the pendant. And the chain so that it would be equally as beautiful. And we have Reverend Michelle in for $20. We did have that one for $14. Now we have Reverend Michelle in for $20. Does anybody want to go $21? It is brand new in the box. Very elegant design. Um, uh, Miss Delma said she is out. We're going to go once to Miss, if I could type correctly, going once to Miss Reverend Michelle. For twenty dollars, gorgeous, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It is pretty. I love the open. It's just elegant to me. Mm -hmm. Wear it with anything. Oh, absolutely. Going twice to Miss River Michelle. Does anybody want to go twenty one? I love the texturing on it. It's not just a a plain silver. No, it's pretty. I like how it casts the light. Like mm -hmm. it looks like there's diamonds in it when there's not. Yes, it does. It really does. When you're just sitting, you know, looking at it, you would think that there is rhinestones in it. Yeah, but the further you pull it away, the more the optical illusion is pronounced in your face that it's shiny. Going three times to Miss Reverend Michelle for $20. And sold. <clears throat> Thank you, Reverend Michelle. And did you still want those brief bracelets, uh, Reverend Michelle? I did not see um, a comment. Of course, I didn't see a comment about them when I was talking about them because I didn't look. I didn't look for a comment from you. Indicating whether you still wanted them or not. Therefore, I don't know. So, you do. Wonderful. They are available and they are beautiful. You're going to love that black bracelet. Next victim. Yep, you told me to keep it. you on track. Let's move it. Move it. Yes, uh, I appreciate that. I'll beautify this later. Miss Jennifer Layton says, I am back. Jennifer Layton, you just missed 925. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Mm. All right. Yep. They can't sell themselves sitting there. Let's sell some jewelry. All right, baby. Let's do another bracelet. And then I'm going to get into some stunning. Okay, this is caught up. 
I mean, what piece of jewelry is not stunning in its own way? I mean, come well, on. Up. Yeah, you're right about that. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to save this for the end. All right, you guys. Um, we're going to do a necklace. <clears throat> I am partial to this necklace. I purchased this necklace for you guys. And I've never liked this color until this necklace. But this is a beautiful statement necklace with green sea beads with stone beads. These are glass sea beads. And then these are, are they stone or are they shell? No, it looks like they're shell. I thought they were stone. No, they're stone. What's the brown ones? The square brown ones? Those are... They feel like stone. But they're shiny like... They're painted. They're painted stone. But what's, what's different about this necklace is I'll show you the beautiful beading in just a moment. But the caps that are holding the multi-strands, and you've got two, four, six... 8, 10, 12, I believe 15 strands. Um, your caps are beautiful silver. And they are, they do have a, a design on them. But the chain itself is a copper color. And I know that it is supposed to be that color because the stems coming out of the beautifully silver caps are also that color. Do you see that? Yep. So it is supposed to be a different color. And here is the green. I'm not a green fan, but I like this. Let me get this What's to the start price. We're going to start at $5 on this. Why is this? There we go. I like to get the number in there just in case we have some itchy fingers waiting to type it. Yes, I forgot. I forgot to mention the number. The color is really pretty. I'm very... Uh, it is. It is. I'm very attracted to olive greens and mm -hmm. herb tone. The painted stone ones, they said, could be pottery. No, they're not pottery. They're I really believe, pretty. Yes that they are painted stone. Painted to look like shell. Does anybody want to go $5 for this beautiful necklace? Does anybody want to go $5 for this beautiful necklace? <clears throat> it's got um, the copper color square beads and the mother of pearl looking square beads. And it's got green square beads. Mama yelled at me last time for taking so long. We're about 7 o'clock my time. So anybody want this? We're starting at $5. Anybody want to go $5 for the beautiful seed bead and stone, painted stone necklace, silver clasp, and a copper color chain in between with a little green bead. I almost said I did not know what I was about to say hanging off the end of the chain. Hey. Hello, Tiki. How are you? So it's 18 inches. And we will move on. Okay. Next victim. We got 20 people in the chat, guys. If you don't mind helping her out, share it out to your social medias and bring in all your friends for some nice deals of the day and lots of stills. Look here with Miss Kelly. Beautiful jewelry. Yes. All right, you guys. Are we ready for a beautiful, beautiful piece of jewelry? How many people do we have in here? 19. Okay. Here we go. Guys, I'm going to start this at $12. Are you ready? Yep. Everybody's sitting down. You've taken your your heart meds and all of that. 
your, what is it, uh, glycerin tablets. Here we go. Well, come on, come That's on. Okay. Anticipation's killing me. That's okay, Ooh. Mary. Is that a bobble bar? A bobble bar? It's a, a brand of uh, state necklaces like that. No. This does not actually have a maker on it. Um, but it's perfect for Easter. Oh, yes. And here is your clasp. It is a lobster claw clasp. The clasp does have a little bit of wear on it, but right there. You but want to go $12? Let's admire the beauty. It's very pretty. It's gorgeous. I put this on when I, I put this on, and I don't usually wear pieces like this, and I just about died. These are Lucite beads let me take it off of here so you can get a close-up anyway when it go twelve dollars really, beautiful robin color and blue it's yes. really pretty a little bit lighter than than a robin or robin's blue but it is a 26 inch well 25 inch chain with the extender 29. Let me give you a close up. This necklace is gorgeous. Anybody want to go 12? We want to go $12 for the beautiful statement necklace. It does remind me of Bobble Bar. I don't know what that is. They make lots of statement necklaces like this. Um, very classy design. It is silver tone. It's pretty. Anybody want to go 12? Miss Fairy Vixen says she doesn't believe she has that color, though. Does anybody want to go $12 for the Robin Egg blue color? Bubble necklace. Very statement. I love how it drapes down like that and just hangs. Mm -hmm. I see yeah, lots of women wearing them on white t shirts and stuff. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's not too heavy. Of course, it doesn't go with this shirt, but it's it's gorgeous. And you can make it, what's nice is you can make it as long or as short as you want. But if there is no love, we will move on. Yep, I'm going to see no love in the chat. And it's been up there for quite a few minutes. So we're going to move right along. We have other jewelry waiting for its time in the limelight. All right. I have something a little special for you guys that I did acquire for you. I have so much jewelry sitting here. And I threw my paper on top of it. All right. Where's my box? Well, okay. I guess I'm not going to do that one tonight. Sorry, guys. Let me grab my stuff here. All right. I am going to do, for any vintage lovers in the house, I have got a two-inch Monet brooch with some matching, matching color Monet earrings. I don't know why this little ball is stuck. But beautiful champagne colored earrings. These mm -hmm. are the clasp back. Where does this start? Um, $5. Dun, 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 dun. By starting the chat, we got earrings and a beautiful Monet brooch. Monet earrings, matching in color with the flower with the puffy. I love the puffy petals. 
That's so yeah. pretty. We have Esme in at five. Does anybody want to go six? You get the lovely brooch and the earrings to match. You can wear them together, sell them together. We don't really care what you do with them. Well, you can do it what would look you stunning want. on anybody, though. They are very, very pretty. I love this star in the middle. Mm-hmm. Does anybody want to go six bucks for the Monet brooch and earrings? I don't see anywhere on the back of it. It looks really nice. We have Thelma in at seven. Does anybody want to go eight? Does anybody want to go eight dollars for the Monet brooch? There it is. Oh, it focused really nicely tonight. Does anybody want to go eight dollars? You got earrings and a brooch. Matching and color. Does anybody want to go eight dollars? I'll show you the back. I'll show you the back of the earrings in just a moment. They're the, the hinge back. Oh, they're pretty. And they're rhinestoned. Why is it doing that? See the rhinestone? I have not a clue. Yes, I do. Because it's I'm supposed to be a faux pearl on the bottom. It is a faux pearl. I couldn't tell if it was metal or pearl because of the color of it. Does anybody want to go $8 for the matching set? Here's the, the rhinestone. Those are pretty. We're going to go once to Miss Thelma for $7. Does anybody want to go 8 Does anybody want to go $8? Go. You got a Monet brooch and Monet earrings. Matching in color. They would look really pretty together. Mm hmm. Does anybody want to go eight? Give it a few moments. We're going to go twice to Miss Thelma Thrift for $7. Does anybody want to go eight? You got a matching brooch and earrings. Nice little set. Nice little duo. Those are so pretty. We're going too fast. Just yell at me. Nope. Going three times to Miss Thelma Thrift for $7. Does anybody want to go eight before I type in the sold? Ten of hearts. Yes, they are amazing. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. We are going to sell, if it would type in, thank you. Sold to Miss Thelma Thrift for $7. Congratulations, Thelma. Thank you have you, a Thelma. nice bet. Yeah, and you can, if you want to, take the, the pearl off, Thelma. If you don't want the hat to have the pearl on it. Thank you, Thelma. Yep, trying to get you as much jewelry up here and get it all to nice, new, amazing homes for them to be loved on and adored and pulled all over. Mm -hmm. Out of the boxes and into your home. Okay. We are going to do four all the, the uh, bingo lovers. I have got a little assortment of four bangles here. Or I'm sorry, five bangles. Six bangles, sorry. Seven bangles. They're small. Eight bangles more. And we're going to start this at $3. Ooh la la. Mm -hmm. Are they all silver toned? Um the these two on the end here are a brownish copper. Oh, I thought they were just highly polished. They are um they are highly polished, but they are they're like um I guess you could say they're well, they're not a, a silver color. More of a gunmetal. Yeah, yeah, a little bit darker. We'll wait, we'll wait for it to focus here. Oh, they're pretty, they're though. Very pretty. Miss Fairy Vixen says bronze, question mark. Yeah, there we go. Close to the bronze family, yes. It's a unique they're color. Pretty. They're really pretty. I like the two different sizes. Makes it yes. fun. 
And then we have this one that is twisted. No, Mari, you did not type my name wrong. I think I said your name wrong, though. I'm sorry. Does anybody want to go $3? We have a nice bingo lot. Nice bingo lot. We got the classic style and twisted. And I forget, I forget the other ones. Show the other ones. <laughs> Show the other ones. Show the other ones. Yeah, we need to see them all. If I whisper, they can't hear right. I'm just yeah. Kidding. She's like, shut up, dear. <laughs> Is Hey, we got anybody in for $3 for the beautiful bangles? Ooh, very dainty right there, folks. Very dainty indeed. Yeah, very dainty. Oh, those are pretty. The hot mic whisper, yeah. Does anybody want to go $3 for this set of bangles? We got the twisted one, the two classic dark colored metal ones, and these four right here. And this, got, These four are matching too, aren't they? Yep, they've got notches in them. Ooh, fancy. Does anybody want to go three dollars for the beautiful set? We can move. You can wear them together. You can wear them separately. List them together or list them separately. I really like the dark colored ones. Those are really pretty. I do too, and they are high, they are very polished. But there's you a makeup mirror on the go, ladies. Okay, I had a bangle one that was so mirror. That was so mirror. Did you actually put your makeup on in it? Oh yeah. Mm hmm My husband got it for me. I have no idea where it's at, but it's really thick silver. <laughs> it's like three inches wide, and it was so mirrored when he got it. You could just see your whole reflection. Oh, nice. All right, guys. I've got some turquoise pieces. Dun 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 dun. dun. Hold on. <laughs> These are so pretty, you guys. So pretty. I'm going to show you a necklace first. Um, some of you have seen this already. Some of you have not. But we are going to start this at $8. And this is wooden beads with um, gold painted wooden beads with two large turquoise stones. That's pretty. Yes. And I will give you a close up of these turquoise. And this turquoise is about an inch and a quarter. And this one is just uh, slightly under an inch. And I'm going to show you the inside. I'll show you the inside of the, the stone because you can see the inside where it shows that it is blue. That's very pretty. I mm -hmm. love that. Does color? anybody want to go eight? Does anybody want to go eight dollars for the gold wooden bead, a turquoise and brown wooden bead necklace? Does anybody want to go eight dollars? Yes, it is very boho. Mm -hmm. Bohemian for sure. And this is 18 inches. Let me just double check. Actually, 19. Oh. Let me show you the inside of the beads so that you can see. Doesn't that, everything wish they can add an inch? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Be careful where you go with that. Yeah, I hushed. Mm -hmm. See at the inside of the bead, you guys? So you know that that is actual turquoise. And I did no, no white color inside. No white. And I did do a little scratch test on the inside of that. And right around that very edge right there. And it is the actual stone. It is not painted. And here is the other one. Close up. Very pretty color. 
Mm-hmm. Does anybody want to go eight? I can put this to the side. I was just typing that. No love. No love for the bohemian beautiful necklace. Well, I'm not sure if I should do my turquoise earrings or not now. Yes, it is almost a sleeping beauty turquoise. Or my turquoise bracelet. Is anybody interested in turquoise? All right, guys. They <clears throat> said yes, they're interested in the turquoise. Oh, you are interested in the turquoise. Okay. <clears throat> I have got these really pretty. And the bead is clear plastic. But I've got these really pretty. Yeah, they were saying, depend on the pieces. Mm -hmm. They were saying, someone said, depends on the pieces. <clears throat> These are both of the earrings. Let me show you just. So a classic fish hook. Beautiful condition. Very pretty. I love the clustered, the dangle clustered mm -hmm. look. It's so pretty. What are we stir now at? Oh, didn't I say? <laughs> four dollars. I'm sorry. Let's start off on four dollars for these lovely turquoise earrings. Is that glass or plastic dangling beneath it? It is plastic. We have Jennifer letting in at four dollars. Does anybody want to go five for these beautiful turquoise and plastic earrings? Silver tone hooks. Are they sterling silver? Uh, they are not sterling. They, they are, are really pretty. Silver tone. You know, I didn't check to see if they were silver, if they were sterling. Somebody wants to know how heavy they are. Um, they're not very heavy. Let me see what they register here. So they are definitely not ear stretchers. No, they are not ear stretchers. These would definitely be one to four ounces. As far as your shipping, my husband says they kind of look like an angel. They do. The, the bottom of it looks like the dress, and then the body's turquoise, and the top, very pretty. Yeah, they are very, very pretty. Does anybody want to go five while she tests them for sterling silver? And nope, I'm weighing them. Oh, she's weighing them. They don't eat. Well, see, my scale only does ounces, so I don't have a gram. It might not even register it. Zero point. It goes fluctuates from zero point two to zero. They're light enough for the scale to not make up its mind, folks. Yeah, they're light. Comfortable wear. Yes, very comfortable to wear. Everyday I'm earring. Explain. They're beautiful, you guys. Nice color turquoise. Very beautiful indeed. There they are hanging on the ear hanger. That for is some reason lighting reminds okay, me of you guys. Your lighting is great. Okay. Um, the camera's focusing a lot better tonight, too. On a side note, that it well, will see tonight. <laughs> we got. Is her name Mari or Mary? Mary Beth. Just, you can call her Mary. We got Mary in at $5. Does anybody want to go six? There they are dangling right there. How long do you think the drop is on them? I will show you. It's about two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter inches long. Does anybody want to go six? We're going to go once to Mary. Mary Deftly Dills. That's, that's actually a pretty cool name. Yeah, pretty Call me Dills, good. she says. Okay, Dills. I, oh, I can remember that. 
They're gorgeous. 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 Does anybody want to go six dollars for these gorgeous turquoise plastic silver tone cluster go, earrings? Guys. There we go, yeah. You can see the the black and the stones and everything else. Very pretty. We're gonna go twice to Miss Dill's. There you go. And it's got a little silver tone. Um Uh, beads, you know, mixed in with the clear plastic. Let me get it's you another photo. Pretty. There we go. Very Southwest inspired. Yeah. We're going to go at, three times. Look at the beautiful turquoise color, though, especially for spring and summer. Oh, yeah. Both of them are right around the corner, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Sold. Sold to Miss Mary Deftly Dills for $5. Congratulations on the beautiful Thank you, turquoise Mary. earrings. Mary Beth. She said thank you. Next item on the chopping block is a turquoise bracelet. Which one to start at? $4. $4. And I will show you. It is a stretchy bracelet, but I know I should start it more than that. But that's what I'm going to start it at. <clears throat> you know what? I feel like I feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody's watching me. <laughs> I got no privacy. We can't, we, you cannot say that it did not pop in all y'all's heads. It just instantaneously yeah. popped in. You know what I was going to say? I was going to say at the midnight hour. Okay, now that I've rubbed this through my hair, you've got mama DNA. They have a stretchy. Is it real yeah. turquoise? I believe it is, my dear, because the inside, again, is blue. It's a lighter. Let me show you the inside. What do you think? Look at it and you tell me. Uh, I don't judge other people's stones. See the inside? Yep. It's not white to me. No. I see the white stretch band. We have Miss Esme in at $4. Does anybody want to go five? Someone also told me that once upon a time that you can test it with uh, acetone. Um to see if it's been dyed or not. Haven't tried that. The Sleeping Beauty is shit again. Very nice. Says Fairy Vixen. Does anybody want to go $5 for the stretchy turquoise bracelet? And we the got the oblong beads, the round beads. Yes. Very, very pretty. We got Dills in at $5. Does anybody want to go 6 for the stretchy turquoise bracelet? That is a lot of carrots there, my folk. Um, somebody was thinking somebody saved me. Oh, he said, uh, okay, Hubby said, I was thinking somebody saved me. So. Oh, in each bead, um, the larger beads are about three quarters of an inch long. And then the center round of beads are about a quarter of an inch. They're very pretty. You want to put it on and model it for us? Oh, Is sure. Is anybody going to go six, six dollars for the turquoise stretchy bracelet? From what I could tell, the stretchy looked like it was in pretty good condition. Oh, yeah. not stained at all. Oh, no. So anyway, when it goes $6. And it is in impeccable condition. It's a beautiful bracelet. And should it not sell, which it already has, um, it would not break my heart. We got Thrifty as a man for $6. Does anybody want to go 7 There it is. Modeled on the beautiful oh. Miss Kelly for all of us to see. Does anybody want to go 7 We're going to go once to Mr. Once these numbers start coming in, we're going to speed it up. I'm going to give her a few moments from now on to uh, tell us a little bit about the jewelry. We're going to speed it up so she can get more items up here for everybody to take home tonight. We're going to go twice. We're going twice to Miss Thrifty SMA for $6. So, therefore, folks, if you want to bid, make sure you type in your numbers. I know I'm talking really fast. Type them in before I type sold, and they will be yours to go. We are going three three times to Miss Thrifty SMA for $6. Thank you, SMA. And this is why you want to follow the precious Immortal Hourglass, because she is the real deal. She is awesome. 
And she keeps these flipper lips shut. Well, we're going to go a little bit faster next victim. Yes, guys, make sure you type in your numbers if you're wanting the item and you want to take it home tonight. Type that number directly into the chat as soon as it comes to mind. Don't second guess yourself because we're going to move it a little bit faster. It's 731 and Miss Kelly says she wants to be here no less than two hours. So we need to drop and roll with these jewelry tonight. All right, okay. I have got... And poor Miss Barbara has typo fever tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to take I these do believe her name is Barbara. Off. I've got a set for you right now, you guys. And I'm going to start this at $5. And I have got a set of Kenneth Cole. On like a little snake chain pendant. That is pretty. Yes. And it is like a, a taupe green color with a row of rhinestones through it. And then wait you see the earrings. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It'll focus. It's focusing on your shutters. Go a little more to your left. Now it's focusing on us. Camera, get it together. There you go. Do, you your do your job. Very deco, Miss Thelma says. It's mm. very pretty. I like that it's just simple, but a statement at the same time. Uh -huh. It's enamel. It is silver on the back. And it's got the KC for the Kenneth Cole. Now the earrings are really, really neat and different. Is it enamel it's made out of? The, um, um, I forget, sorry. Like, um, it's not enamel, it's like a lacquer over the, not a lacquer, like a lucite over the The disc that's in there. Mm. Very pretty. It is. This is the type of pendant that's going to be really, um, you know, it's not going to scratch really easy. It'll it'll wear really nice. What I like about these earrings is number one, the shape. They are silver tone. They're like um, a polished. Uh, silver. And they're little hoops, kind of, I guess. Again, a little bit of Art Deco. But look at the, the earring backs, you guys. I was going to say modern. Like a modern. Yeah, modern, yep. Yeah. The Very earring modern. backs actually say, let's give it a second to focus. The earring backs actually say Kenneth Cole on them. Oh, cool. Come on. You going to focus? Oh, those are the plug backs. Is it the tension backs? Nope. It's just the... Uh... Yeah, the inside. Yeah, it squeezes the metal so it doesn't fall off. I love that type of earring back. I have some gold ones for my earrings. We have... I'm jumping to the highest bidder. We have Jennifer Lady in at $6. Does anybody want to go? Seven for the Kenneth Cole necklace and earring set. Very, very beautiful. It has been described as Art Deco, and the earrings look modern to me. And there is a focus to right there. They got the Kenneth Cole all the way around the whole back. Very beautiful indeed. Does anybody want to go $7 for this beautiful Kenneth Cole necklace and earring set? Let me put it on the... I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying, Dia. Since we started late, we started late. We go a little bit, but yep, just a little bit. We on your clock th tonight. <clears throat> We're on your clock. You're the boss. <laughs> you are the boss of me. 
I just want to let you put as much jewelry up as possible. So the faster we go, the more jewelry that gets sold. Mm-hmm. We're going to go once to Miss Jennifer. Does anybody want to go $7? Does anybody want to go 7 for the Kim's Cold necklace and earring set? You can wear them together, sell them together. Do what you want once they are yours and in your house. We have deals in at 7 Does anybody want to go 8 We've got the Kim's Cold necklace and earring set. As she is so kindly displaying them both at the same time for our eyes to feast upon. Does anybody want to go eight dollars? We're gonna go once to Miss Dills. I love the stones like cutting it not in half, just a little bit to give the eyes mm-hmm. something to look at. Very, yep. very pretty. A focus point. Does anybody I... want to go eight dollars? Does anybody want to go eight? We're gonna go twice to Miss Miss Dills, does anybody want to go eight dollars? I'm in love with the pendant. The pendant is so gorgeous. Does anybody want to go eight dollars? We're gonna go three times to Miss Dills for seven dollars. Does anybody want to go eight? Does anybody want to go eight dollars? Remember, folks, once these numbers start coming in, we're gonna go just a little bit faster so Miss Kelly can have time to show each and every item that she wants to tonight. So if you're in love with it. Make sure you go home with it. <laughs> it is sold. It is sold to Miss Mary Deftly Dills for seven dollars. Congratulations! You are now the proud owner of the Kenneth Cole necklace and earring set. They're really pretty, Mary. You're gonna really like them. My husband says, "Oh, please don't tell Dia. She's the boss." Now, <clears throat> uh-huh. how you funny? At least he's man enough to admit it. Oh, my husband's very much man. Okay, guys. Um, hey, hey, Barb. Going hi, on grumpy. Barb. Nice to see your beautiful, I was going to say face, but can't see your face. Your beautiful name in the chat tonight. All right. I have got, are you guys ready? I like this a lot. This is a Cookie Lee. And... I had never heard of this brand before I acquired this piece. Where have you been? Under a rock. I I'm know. Like I have been under a rock. <laughs> okay, so this is 37 <laughs> inches. It is a features a black velvet ribbon strap. Delma. And here we go. And then I'll show you some features in just a moment. These are very significant glass beads. They do have weight to them. And what I like about this, y'all know I like a T-clasp, right? Well, the, this isn't a T-clasp. However, I like the ends of this. And then I like how the, I'll show you the hang tag here. I like how the just a moment you guys I apologize let me show you the hang tag hang loose while I show you the hang tag and there goes the bead does anybody care about the hang tag that's now backwards there we go cookie Lee you could adjust this to any length if you wanted to. I personally would wear it long. But this has got an Aurora Borealis type of uh, painted effect on this last bead here. What's the star price? Oh. We're going to go um, $7 on this. Started at seven dollars. I'm sorry, Dia. Thank you. I just like how this glass bead just falls right into the silver tone jump ring. Huge jump ring. Are you whispering to me still? No. <laughs> They're saying love the whisper laugh out loud. They said hold it against your blue, please. Okay. This is the, the beads on this are clear and uh, silver and purple and champagne and gold. It looks pretty against your blue shirt, like really pretty. 
Did you say glass beads? Question mark. They are all glass. And well, except for the faux pearl. But that still is is heavy. These are substantial bead, y'all. Very pretty. Wow, your blue shirt and throw the whole coloration like to a weird, like wow. Color. Is it like fluorescent? Yeah, your whole room is illuminated. You look like an angel. Does anybody want to go seven dollars for the beautiful glass necklace? Very stunning indeed. Yep, it washed it out. True, it did. Your blue shirt is making you glow. You look paler than me on a normal day. I look what? Paler than me on a normal day. I look like a ghost. They said, sit down. <laughs> How about this? That is very pretty. We got a cookie lee necklace, glass bead, velvet strap, in these, these, excellent condition. Yes. Anybody want to go seven dollars? We've got want? faceting on these glass beads, but different sized faceting. If you notice, the ones that are painted are borealis, like disco ball. Yes. Um, are larger, if you notice, they are a larger facet than the clear glass ball. And then Very beautiful to cast the light. Yes. And then this bead, if you notice, has the design on it. See the design? It's pretty. And, yep. And then this is an actual graduated stone. It's larger than this one here. Same type of beading. And then more faceting. I like that the, that the stones are different. They're, they're different facetings. And they're different colors. And there's pearls in there too. It's and then you've got your... Like yeah. And then you've got... Um, they're individually knotted in between the stones. Room between the beads. Anybody want to go seven dollars for the cookie lead necklace, glass beads? Besides the the faux pearl, it does look. It's going to pick up whatever color you're wearing, says Miss Dills. It is very pretty. That's a really good deal, you guys. I'm not seeing any chitter chatter in the chat about the beautiful necklace. All right. Let me do this. Okay. I'm going to throw up another pair of earrings. Why? Because I want to. Now, what I like about these is they're not 925. However, they have the backs that are like 925. They have the flat fish hook back, just like a 925 would. But they are beautiful. About two and a quarter inch leaves. And we're starting at? $4. They said 925-ish. Well, they're not 925, but they, the hooks are the quality of a 925. You know how you can look at a silver tone 925 and you know it's 925 because of the, the flatness of the fish hook? Oh, yes. <clears throat> we have Jennifer Lady in at $4. Are, are they rose gold toned or copper colored? They or? are... Um, they look rose goldish. They are a rose me. gold tone. Um, they're in between a gold tone and a copper. So I guess that is rose. Well, it's not really a rose gold, though. It's not a rosy color. It is, um, I would say it is a very light copper. It's gorgeous. And there's rhinestones throughout the veins in each leaf. And Very stunning earrings. Here. They are gorgeous earrings, you guys. 
And there they are, up close and personal. Does anybody want to go $5 for the beautiful leaf earrings? More on the coppery side. We've got the rhinestones to bedazzle yourselves with. Mm -hmm. No pubs, they're not on the yellowish side. They're more on the copperish side than brasses. Does anybody want to go five? Oh, I must have timed somebody out. Does anybody want to go five dollars for the beautiful earrings? Does anybody want to go five dollars? We've got the goldish roses. Wow, Dia, you can't speak tonight. We've got the rhinestones go. and the gold color that's more on the copper side than gold. And very, very pretty. Got the 925 looking backs for indicating quality. So they are, yes, yeah. they're dark rose gold. I wouldn't say they're like a pastel rosy. You know, they actually, that color, that gold reminds me of uh, Black Hills color. Yes. Yes, there you go. This is why you're the master. You can see that flat fish hook there? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. These are really gorgeous earrings, you guys. They are really pretty unique. Yeah, they are really pretty. I like the rhinestones and how the veining is not symmetrical. They almost right. remind me of dragonfly wings more than a leaf. Yeah. Because the irregular veining. We're going to go once to Miss Jennifer Layden for $4. So we're going to go twice. I already so typed look, in. Here's the thing. We all know Mama loves leaves. So they're leaves. You always have a piece of Mama Kelly with you. Yeah. Every time I see a leaf, a piece of jewelry, I think about you instantaneously. Does oh. anyone want to go $5? I do. I'm like, oh, look, a leaf. Thank you, Dia. I'll show you the backs. You're so sweet, yeah. We're going three times to Miss Jennifer Layden for $4. Does anybody go five while she's showing us the back? They are really pretty. Mm-hmm. And they are brand new, you guys. I didn't say that, did I? Mm-mm. They are brand new, and I just took them off the card. Now, now. And look. There's the card. Yep. And they are called Time and True Hypoallergenic. And they are sold to Miss Jennifer Letty for $4. Which I should have said that in the beginning. And I could actually wear these. Throw everybody on the floor. Can I take them back? They're pretty. They're gorgeous. Congratulations, Jen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We are moving on. Hold on. Let me get a drink. Remember, 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 once a number is typed into the chat, we're going to move it on just a little bit faster. Make sure you're on live chat instead of top chat so you can see if anyone is bidding. Miss Kelly, it is 7.50 p.m. Let's put some more jewelry up here. Gotcha. All right, guys. This is going to be starting bid of $3. And this is, I don't know, I call these snakes. Did you say three? Huh? Three dollars? Yep, three dollars. Ooh. That is cool. And this. I call these snake bracelets. On memory wire. And this has uh, spacer beads along each simulated pearl and then a long tube silver tone tube or silver tube and you've got the what is on my nails 
Oh, I got pen or marker. You've got uh, champagne colored pearl simulated, uh, ivory. You've got a dark copper color and then a silver and it repeats itself. And this I'll give you a total, well, I'll give you an approximate. It is, it's probably about 36 inches long if you were to stretch it all out. We but have Jennifer Lading in for $3. Does anybody want to go for really, four? Really pretty. That's, that's She's perfect. bringing out the wood hand. Oh, that's ceramic. This is really nice if you are a tough fit for bracelets. You're always going to be able to wear this. Really pretty. Does anybody want to go four dollars for the beautiful snake bow pearl and silver and silver ton bracelet? <clears throat> We're gonna go once. Going go hello Leticia, how are you this tonight? Um going once to Miss Jennifer Lady. We got thrifty Esme in at four. Does anybody want to go five for the stretch for I almost call it a stretchy for the accordion snake? Bow pearl silver toned bracelet. Does anybody want to go five? Does anybody want to go five dollars? We're going to go once. We're going once to thrifty SMA for four dollars. Does anybody want to go five? We have the the white cream colored champagne colored brown and I think that's silver colored. Dark copper, pearl. yeah. Yep. Champagne, ivory, uh, silver, and a dark copper. I like how when it's wrapped up right there, all the colors line up. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Yep. It is really, really pretty. It's not really doing it justice on the camera. Do we still have Velma in the chat? Yeah, haven't seen her chitter chatter for a while. We're going to go twice to Miss Thrifty Esme for $4. Does anybody want to go five? Does anybody want to go five dollars for this beautiful bracelet? I'm looking for the number five. Does anybody want to go five for this beautiful faux pearl bracelet? Um, have a good night, Miss Fairy Vixen. Bye, Thank Fairy Vixen. Coming. Thank you. I'm going to go three times to Miss Dirty Esme. Woohoo! Thank you, Esme. Sold. It is sold to Miss Dirty Esme for $4. Congratulations to the both of you. One D hoarding and one stacking up. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, I'm the one D hoarding. Do we have any vintage lovers in the house right now? Any vintage lovers in the house? Thank you, Esme. And congratulations. You got some really pretty pieces tonight, Esme. Oh, no, Lakesia. I'm so sorry you don't have power or internet. You know, they maybe they are from HSN, Mary. There's no uh, tag or anything on them, so I don't know. And I need to speed up my connection here. All right, guys. I'm going to do... Whoa. All right. Yep. Okay. Who likes... Who likes this? Who likes Alex and Honey? Oh, energy. that's the energy one. What's that? The energy one? Yeah. I'm just familiarizing myself with this brand, so. Hold on just one second, guys. Let me get my Hangouts back up. So, new in the box, made in America, with, with love. love. Hang on. 
There is the paper. Ooh, Phoenix. I don't know the difference between the two. I am just educating myself. You're getting all of the paperwork. And then I'm going to show you the bracelet. There's the care instructions. And here is the bracelet. And there it is, the Phoenix. Ten of Hearts, I hope you have a good night. We're going to start this, you guys, at $10. Because if it doesn't go for $10, I'm keeping it. It's starting at $10. It's the Alex and Ani Energy Bracelet with the Phoenix. New inbox. I think it said divinity, immortality, and something else on the paperwork. Divinity, rebirth, and immortality. And there's all the lovely little hang tags everybody knows and to be true to Alex and Annie. It is, what color is that bangle? It's, is it copper or gold? It's copper. It's like a, a dark gold light copper. It's okay. You know, the, the, whoop, this hang tag is, you could tell it's a, uh, you know, dark gold copper. It's Ooh, about it's pretty color. Yeah. So it it's it's beautiful. I would attribute it to a copper, a lighter copper, or an untarnished copper. Let's just put it that way. And I'm from the ashes a new start for mankind. What's that? A phoenix. A phoenix. Oh. From the ashes, a new start for mankind, says my husband. We have Picky Cheeky in at $10. Um, it's not it. buffering on my side, Miss Mary Definitely Dills. You might want to refresh your YouTube. And Jennifer Lady, make sure you're on top chat. I'm live chat instead of top chat so you can see who's bidding in front of you. We have Picky Cheeky in at $10. Who wants to go 11 There's Alex and Annie right there. And then each of these terms, I'll tell you what they say. You know, it reminds me of, if I was to wear it, it would remind me of looking at it from all the past mistakes. There's always a rebirth. Yes. Charity yes, and design. Pretty. And this is energy. And see, I'm just, this is the recycle triangle. And that's the Alex Nanny hang tag. And then this has a heart. And no need to does. apologize. Does anybody want to go 11 for the Alex and Ani bracelet? Do you want to show us the nice, lovely Phoenix? Yep. This is new in box, guys. With the No paper. matter your past mistakes in life, you can always rise above it. Does anybody want to go $11? We are going to go once to Miss... i going to scroll up. Miss Picky Chicky? For ten dollars, does anybody want to go eleven? It's brand new in the box and just have its paperwork. It has the paperwork. It nice is. to keep it, nice to resell. Mm -hmm. You've got the box with the fuzzy, the bracelet, the explanation, the phoenix, a mythical and sacred firebird is known to rise from the ashes. We and have it, Kim in there at 11. As Days of Our Lives has always told us, right? Don't With know, don't the, watch it. <laughs> the, the dastardly Stefano Demira. The we have $12 from Dills. Does anybody want to go 13? We have the Phoenix, the Firebird. Look, I mean, it's so beautiful. With strong wings to soar to great heights, it represents a new life filled with opportunity. You're so knowledgeable, Dia. $13 from Miss Kim. Kimmy. Thank you, Kimmy. The Phoenix Charm reminds us that change is good for the soul. 20% of all sales with a minimum donation of 10000 go to support the work of home and hospice care of Rhode Island. Ooh. This is made in America with love, charity by design. Now, of course, <clears throat> part of my donation goes to that when I purchased it new. We have Miss Kim and Kimmy in at $15. Does anybody want to go 16? Miss Dumma says those are expensive, especially the rare ones. Yep. 
They absolutely are. I know the buying point on this is it is new with the box, with the paperwork. Yes. Hard to come by. Yes. Very, very beautiful. Does anybody want to go 16 for the Phoenix? Alex and Ani new with the box. Hand has the paperwork to tell you all about the individual bracelet. We have Kim in at 15. Does anybody want to go 16 for the Firebird? If you made some past mistakes in your life or you just want to start over, this is a great representation of that. You can look at it every single day. And if you're selling it, I suggest put that somewhere in there. <clears throat> Does anybody yeah. want to go 16? We're going to go once to Miss Kimmy for $15. Does anybody want to go... Sixteen dollars. Did we go sixteen for this beautiful Phoenix Alex and Ani new with the tags and the box? In the box. If you it has the traditional tags in the box, here you go. And this is what it looks like, folks. Does anybody want to go sixteen dollars? We're gonna go twice to Miss Kim, Kimmy, Kim, whatever, Kim. Kim, for $15, does anybody want to go 16 I am like the worst person when it comes to names. She does not care what you call her. She, she will go by anything as long as you say it with love. It is currently, one, two, three, sold. Sold to Miss Kim for $15. Woo! Congratulations on the new Phoenix. Congratulations, Kim. Thank you so much. The Phoenix says, thank you for adopting me. Yes. Okay. That was a great deal. You got that for $15. Okay. <clears throat> There's so many things I want to put up here, but I'm going to go with these earrings, you guys. And... I really like these. I really, really like these. Hang on. Where did my hook go? Okay. It's tangled. I'm going to skip these. All right. I'm going to go vintage for just a second, you guys. Before we wrap things up. Well, late. Let's do some 925. One more 925. I am going to do, and then we we'll start at 15 minutes late. We got like, it's only 8, 804. So are you saying you want to end now? No. Okay. Ow. Okay. I want to just stop hitting this bar under this table. All right. So we have a ring. And I'll show you really quick, and then I'll show you on the sizer. This is 925. Hey, it's Becky. 925. Nobody wants to see the marker on my finger. This has the patina on it. It is a six and a half. And I'll show you on the sizer. I believe it's a six and a half. Well, that's cool. We're going to start this at 10. And that is all patina, you guys. That is all patina. There's very, the, very pretty design. There is the size inside. six and a half. Size six and a half for all you six and a half wearers out there. It's size six and a half, sterling silver, acid tested. Very, very beautiful design. Kind of reminds me of a shell. Hmm. Or waves or claw marks. It does stand up just a little bit. It's really pretty. That's focused. Kim says, it's very cute. Wish it was my size. Here, I'll show you on the sizer. I could be off by half a size. Technically, rings could be any size you want it to be if you put it on a chain and wear it. It's actually six and three quarters. Well, six and three quarters. You could Almost always make seven. them seven. Does anybody want to go $10 for sterling silver ring? There it is on the handy dandy ring sizer. Mandrel. 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 Whatever you want to call it, really. Why is this not? My husband says he would like it if it was a size 14 and a half. 
Yeah, sorry, you've got big hands. Oh, yeah, he has some huge hands. Uh, See, just almost to the seven, you guys. I am on the lookout, though, for men's rings in size 14 and a half, just in case anybody in the chat yeah. or you, Miss Kelly, has any. I will Does let anybody you know. want to go 10. That was a shameless plug. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly says, yeah. Does anybody want to go $10? What's wrong with a shameless plug? I'll tell you what, I've been looking for rings for him. I, don't, I can't even tell you. Finding his wedding ring was a miracle. A miracle. Hello, yep. Rose and Fred. How are you? I'm seeing no lovey, lovey, lovey in the chat. All right. Just guess who's been wearing it. Is there any marks, says Miss Thelma? I did not see any, Thelma. Um, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there is. That was the mood ring. I didn't see any. This does say, um, it doesn't, it says 925, but that is the only mark that it has. It doesn't She say, was just wondering if they had a maker. Um, no, it doesn't. This is TH. If that's. It says I, what? I'm not familiar with that. This is TH. Or it could be a TK. No. TA maybe? No, it looks TH. Let's focus on it here. It should the camera should pick it up. Hang on. There it is. See it? Mm, I see something, yeah. But I can't make it out. It's T I think it's T H. Right there, that's perfect. <laughs> My husband says T H T R he said. Tiny ring. Tiny ring. So it does have a maker's mark of some sort. I I, I what I meant was I don't know who it is. Thailand, that one says. Thailand? And mm. hang on. There's the 925. Let me get my fingers out of the way. Right there. Can you see it? I see it's like extremely tiny. That's pretty good right there. Does anybody want to go 10? She says yes. She sees it. Ow. <laughs> I dropped it. Do we have any love for this? I see no love for the beautiful sterling silver ring. I actually like the patina on this. You know how I like everything cleaned? I actually like the patina on this. Yes, you're, everything cleans drives me crazy. I'm like, no, don't clean it. Don't clean it? Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> I have got what I think is beautiful. I'm going to show it to you here. Um, the brooch does not have a maker. But I don't think that takes any of its beauty away. The only issue with this brooch and if if it were at all noticeable i would not be showing it to you but this has a beautiful gold tone and pearl brooch mm. with earrings these did not come together but they look really nice together and the only issue, I, I smashed this board. The only issue with this brooch is right here on the very bottom, it's missing one simulated pearl. 
now it's missing two. No, just the one. It'll be at the top of your screen. I'm starting this set at $5. See it right there, the third from the end? That's an easy fix, though. It is a very easy fix. I mean, who who does not have simulated pearls in their jewelry box? Hello, Nana. Hi, Nana. So here's the yeah, pearls. It's supposed to be, I think, a grape cluster. Yeah, I do believe. It's very pretty. Yep, I think it's supposed to be a grape cluster. It is gorgeous. Um, it is missing one pearl, folks. Gold toned, faux pearl. Right there, third from the end. Um, normally, well, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me. I would, <laughs> I would put something like this up, but you can't even tell had I not pointed it out to you. Um, and it doesn't take away from the gorgeousness of this piece. We have Jennifer in at five dollars. Does anybody want to go sick to this? I'll show you the earrings. <laughs> I'm very oh. sorry. Um, Look at how there is no wear on this, you guys. Very, very little. Is it, it riveted? I can't tell. This so shiny. Um, is the brooch part riveted to yeah. the rest of the brooch? I'm trying to get my eyes to focus. My my uh, bionic contacts are giving me problems. Your what? My bionic contacts. I don't it's, know what that it's, is. Um, it's connected. Well, okay. I have the, the dual vision contacts, and they used to be oh. really great, right? I, I didn't have to wear reading glasses, but now, um, yeah, they're have, giving me problems. But, no, it's just the slidey part right here in the middle. I'll show you. I'm sorry. Right there. No need to I, apologize. Very, very pretty. Slide. Don't stab yourself. Who doesn't want some of Mama's DNA? And I'll show you the earrings. Now, as I said, these did not come together. I'm putting them together because they're gorgeous. And these earrings do come with the widened backs. The really nice backs. Sorry, Jennifer. So they've got the larger back. We have Jennifer in at five dollars. Does anybody want to go six? There is I'll the show you up close. Very, very, very pretty. Very classy. Great clusters. Great cluster, yep. That's what I was thinking too. They're really like grapes. They're so cute. I love I pearls know. though. Does anybody want to go six? Does anybody want to go six dollars? You get the gold tone and faux pearl grape cluster brooch and the grape pearl cluster earrings to match. It's a very, very easy fix on the missing. Wow, this chair is squeaky. It's a very easy fix on the brooch. I'm sure every single one of us, including Miss Kelly, has pearls just lying around the house. I do. Um, Going ones. But I did not fix it. We're going to go twice to Miss Jennifer Layden for $5. Does anybody want to go six? There is the lovely gold tone faux pearl brooch. It is missing one singular micro pearl i'm sure you have one laying pearl. around i'll even throw going. it in there i can i'm sure i have one i'll throw it in there why is it not focusing miss jennifer lady wants to know if she needs to resend her info we're going to go to three times to miss jennifer lady for five dollars it's been up here for several minutes and i'm about to call it for miss jennifer there's Thank no you, other chitter chatter in the chat for it. Um, Congratulations, I have Jennifer. Information from before, I do not need it again. So thank you, Jennifer. They're gorgeous, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you. And you know what? That I'll do one more.
Is this the last item of the night, Miss Kelly? This the last item up. Miss Picky Chicky, I hope you have a wonderful night. Glad you popped it. I know Miss Kelly sure does appreciate it. Yes, I do. And follow the uh, Immortal Hourglass before you go, please. Thank you, thank you, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Okay, guys. Now, I want to show you this, you guys. And I got it tangled with my own necklace. I'm sorry. Just one second. Ah! Thank you, Miss Picky Chicky. I think okay. her name's Barbara. I am the worst person with names. Like, <sighs> okay, you guys, there's I hundreds of them. I have a special little treat for you. As you guys know, I am a vintage girl. I love the vintage. I crave the vintage. And I buy the vintage. I buy the other stuff for you guys. However, I have got a Pastali set. And... It is earrings and a brooch. Here are the earrings. They are white with gold tone accents. I did have Pastelli earrings. Thelma's already seen these. Those are cool. Uh-huh. Wait till you see the brooch. Hold it steady. There are gold tips, white on one side, gold on the other, with gold accents on the white and white accents on the gold. These are clip. They remind me of dancing octopus. They're so cool. I love them. <laughs> or crab. As we know, yeah, or crab. I wear clip-ons. But here's the brooch. These are truly vintage. Wow. Very leaf looking. They are awesome. They are pretty. And I am going to <laughs> I am going to start this set at six dollars, you guys. For six earrings and a brooch. Spiders. I hate uh, spiders. I will run you over trying to get rid of a spider. I can tolerate them now. <laughs> I, I used to be just deathly afraid of them. So this is... That a, is probably the coolest brooch I think I've ever seen. I love that. Just this. how the design is. Like, that is so awesome. I've got a pen on my finger. Yeah, it's, a, it's pretty special. Yeah, I don't do spiders. Not one single bit. But that doesn't remind me of a spider, so I think it is gorgeous. Jennifer at six. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> That's my job. Oh, sorry. I was sorry. admiring the brooch until you you snatched it from my vision. Yes. yes. I appreciate you so much. This is uh, a really cool set, you guys. Really cool set. These are nice clip-ons. Oops, let me get the brooch in here and I'll show it to you up close. I want to see against your blue shirt. You do? Okay. Mm -hmm. I do. White and gold go very beautifully with royal blue. And red. Look how pretty. Is it washed out? It there washes out. Yeah, that blue's washed your camera out. <laughs> Look at the size of it, though. You can see the yeah. size really good. It is, um, I apologize. I didn't give you guys the size. It is, um, the earrings are three quarters of an inch by one inch, and the brooch is two and a half by one and three quarters inch. So it is a good size brooch. 
I love that. Does anybody want to go seven? You get the brooch and the clip-on earrings to match. And you can Miss Jennifer these... says she has a denim jacket. She's decorating with the brooches. Mm. Mm. You can wear these clip-ons, too, as either a pendant, which I have done several times, or I will clip them on my um, collar. And then I've got one on each side of my collar. Does anybody want to go seven for the gorgeous brooch and clip-on earring set? I've never seen something that, that looks like that. I think that's amazing. We're going to go once to Miss Jennifer for $6. She seems to be thoroughly excited about it. Does anybody want to go $7 for the beautiful brooch and clip-on earring set, white and gold tone? Very, very pretty indeed. Very, very pretty. Does anybody want to go seven? I'm trying to multitask over here. Not working out quite as well as expected. Does anybody want to go seven dollars? Uh-oh. She gave us a dropsies. You know everything is durable because... <laughs> We're going to go twice to Miss Jennifer for six dollars. Oh. Miss Jennifer Lading for six dollars. Does anybody want to go seven? And there's 15 people left here in the chat. Make sure you hit that thumbs up preferably before you have entered. But if you haven't done so, just click the little X out of the chat and go hit that thumbs up. Make sure you have turned on her bell so you do have Thank you. notifications when she goes live. Otherwise, it's a hit or a miss. Make sure you clicky clicky it. We got it going three times. Miss Jennifer Lading for $6. Does anybody want to go seven? While I'm typing in soul, does anybody want to go seven dollars? You got the clip on and the brooch. We are sold. We are sold to Miss Jennifer Lady for $6. Congratulations. You are now the proud owner of either the crab, the octopus, whatever you want to call it. It is gorgeous. This is a leaf. Okay? Shh. This is what I see as a leaf. It's an octopus. <laughs> These kind of look like crabs, maybe. They're just it's cool. so cute. They're just cool. I, like I just really like them. Okay, guys. Well, you know what? That is about, that's going to be it. Because we kept it right at two hours because we didn't start until like 14 after because of my computer malfunctions. Um, if there's something you specifically are looking for, guys, let me know. Um, it, either direct message me or put it down in the comments below after this um upload you, live. Can it, you can put yeah you can put it in the live comments right now and i will keep an eye out for you but i know i've been jumping around night after night after night um tuesdays and thursdays but miss dia has graciously uh offered to help me on tuesday evenings so that i can come to you every tuesday evening at 7 p.m eastern time with a jewelry auction which you requested, and so I am doing for you. And I thank you so much for coming. And Dia, as always, thank you so much for You're your very wisdom welcome. and your knowledge and for helping me. And everybody hit the like button and subscribe, and then go to Dia Immortal Hourglass and subscribe to her. But make sure you watch every one of her videos because if she refers to something in a video that you didn't watch yet, she'll get mad at you. You <laughs> <laughs> should seriously go see it. I got like a big bag of alpaca bracelets, like a humongous bag. It's very awesome. Thank you so much for everyone that has that that has come. And Dia, I enjoy learning from you every time that we talk or chat or um, whatever you're doing on the Google Hangouts. <laughs> 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 but thank you for coming, you guys. We're going to be here Tuesday nights, 7 Eastern, um, like clockwork. We're going to keep it two hours, and that way I don't hurt. And I'm not taking advantage of Dia. So. And Miss Kelly learns to describe within a minute. And we can get it sold so she can de-hoard her stash. I know she's got a bunch, guys. Yes. Miss um, Kelly has... I have to learn to shut my mouth 
at the appropriate times and describe everything, which I, I, I didn't do. I'm sorry, you guys. But you I was did an so excellent job. Quit saying sorry. You did great. I know I'm an over apologizer. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Um, Kimmy, I, I, I'm pretty sure, Kim, I, pr I'm pretty sure I have your email, but thank you for putting it in the chat. And thank you to everybody <laughs> for being here. I will see you, if not before, next Tuesday. At 7 p.m. I did delete her comment, though. For a minute, D, okay? Yeah, not, not safe, guys, to leave your emails in chat. Yep. I'm pretty sure I have it, Kim. If not, um, just email that to me at hipflippinmama, dot, or hipflippinmama at yahoo. H-I-P-F-L-I-P-P-I-N-M-A. -I, 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 I wrote hers down for you just in case. Okay, thank you. Um, in that way, you know, I'll have it, I'll have it that way. And thanks again, you guys, we will see you next Tuesday with never before seen items. And I'm looking at a whole pile of right here. And I'm so glad you liked most of what I had for you today. And hi, Glenn, you missed the whole auction. But thank you for coming in. Hit the like button before you leave. And there goes Mary putting her email in the in the chat, but I, I have it, Mary. <laughs> Mary, email it to hipflippinmama at yahoo.com, okay? Um, we're going to delete that, yeah. And thanks for coming, you guys. Y'all have a good night, and I love you. Mama loves you. Mwah. Good night. Good night, y'all.